guys, welcome back. Thanks again for tuning in. We are doing a comparison video and it's with the beloved Mac Face and Body. This is the original Mac Face and Body. Um, I'm just kind of like savoring it and trying not to use it that much because this is all I have left. So I think I have about a half a bottle, but I, if you've not seen any of my other reviews, I have reviewed this a few times, kind of given people like helpful tips because I think a lot of times people don't use it right and then they don't like it. And once they figure out how to use it, they love it. I also have a video comparing the two. So this is the new Studio Radiance, Mac Face and Body, whatever, Studio Radiance. This is the old Mac Face and Body. So I did a comparison on that and people got a little bit heated in the comments. <laughs> um, one of the biggest things that people kept saying and whatever, like it doesn't bother me, but they kept saying like, are you crazy? You don't see the difference. And I did see the difference and I just didn't think it was that huge of a thing just because these are very sheer foundations to begin with. And I was wearing them in the sheerest way possible because I don't wear a ton of them, but people were very heated and I understand people's frustration. Like the old Mac face and body was a cult classic. People loved it for years and years and then they went and changed it. And then like people were like, no, they didn't change it. Yes, they did. It was a whole thing. So I also did another video on if you have Studio Radiance and if you don't like it, how can you improve upon it? Um, and that's a great video if you already have it or this is the only option for you. But, but, but I wanted one more video. And then I'm done with them. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> um, I have heard for years and years that Dior Backstage Face and Body, I know, like the same name, right? Um, is basically, I can't call it a dupe because it's more expensive, but that it was the same thing. And for so long, it didn't really interest me because I had MAC Face and Body and why would I need anything more expensive? But now that this one is kind of kaput and you have the new Studio Radiance, Maybe you want something that actually acts like the old Mac face and body. And that's what this video is here for. So without much more blabbering on, I'm going to put them on my face. I'm going to do a side by side. I'm going to warn you in advance. This shade is too dark. <laughs> I actually went into Sephora and got matched. That was when I like had the height of my tan and I was like, let's match me to my body. Like, I don't know why would I do that? Because this only works for three months out of the year. Whereas this shade kind of just works all the time and I can put a little bronzer on, but it's gonna be a noticeable difference in shade, but that's not the point of this video. The point is to show you actually the like amount of coverage to see what the finish looks like and all those things. Before we jump in, please do like, please do subscribe if you're not. I actually do mostly skincare and like sunscreen videos, but I do an occasional makeup video for the things that I love the most in this world, which is usually this one. So let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go briefly over the kind of like details of each of these. This one is $35, this one is $40. You both get 50 milliliters or 1.7, 1.6 ounces. And they both come in pretty much identical packaging. Um, the top is obviously quite different, but when you actually, when you take the top off, they are the same bottle. <laughs> so this is the dropper bottle and yeah, it's the same. So the Dior comes in 40 shades, the MAC face and body, the Studio Radiance comes in 35 shades. I'm going to kind of refer to them as one. You can't really get the original MAC face and body anymore. You can get, I think like four shades on the website and they're very dark. So, so if that is your shade, that works for you, but for everyone else, you can't really get it. So I'm kind of going to refer to them as one, but just know that it's really more for the Studio Radiance now. I will put up a picture of the Dior shades. It's a little questionable with 40 shades. I feel like it's only the last row that are darker shades. Whereas I think Mac actually does a little bit of a better job of getting all of the different categories of skin tones. One little qualm. So at least they have 40 though, right? We could do a little bit better though. Dior comes out of the gate saying it is medium buildable coverage. Whereas Mac really says it's a little bit more buildable coverage that you can go from light to medium to full coverage. Um, I think you can actually do that with the Dior as well. They just kind of say that it's medium from the get go. They both said that they are waterproof. The Dior also says that it is sweat resistant. In my experience, the Mac face and body are also pretty sweat resistant. And then the biggest difference is that this one is a natural finish, whereas the new Studio Radiant says it has a natural radiant finish. Natural, radiant, a little contradictory. 
And a lot of people have been like, no, you are like glowing, like very, very, very glowy. So I would say that this one is going to be your natural finish, just kind of like more like the old MAC face and body. And this one's going to be a very dewy, radiant finish. And they both say that they are long wearing, which is true in my opinion. Okay, those are the specs. Now let's put them on my face. And also, I'm going to be doing the Studio Radiance just because, like I said, it's the only one most people can get these days. Oh my god, for a second I was like, shit, did I not screw the top back on? As I'm shaking it, I'm just picturing it coming down my chest. Ooh. Okay, good thing it was not. But what I was saying before is make sure you shake both of them up really well. I only have uh, moisturizer on right now. I do have a little bit of mascara and eyeshadow, but I have no other face products on right now. No primer either. And I like to kind of start very um, kind of lightly just because I don't wear a ton of heavy foundation ever. So I can always build it as they both say, but I don't like to cake it on at first. <laughs> the shade. Ah! Why did I do this? Why did I do this? What was I thinking? Like, I know I was tan for a second, but not that tan. Okay, so there is probably like the thin first layer. Um, I would say that this is like light coverage right now. They say that you can use your hands, you can use a brush. Um, they don't say anything about a sponge, but that's fine. For this kind of thing, I would either use my hands or a brush. But typically for MAC face and body, I always use my hands. So I'm going to do the same with the Dior. And one of the big differences is you don't have that same kind of like pull that you get with MAC. That's the telltale sign that it is setting, which is kind of part of the beauty of the MAC face and body. You do not get that with the Dior. And now I'm gonna go in with the Studio Radiance. And I should tell you, I guess I should say, this is the shade 3N and then this is the shade N3. <laughs> not the same though, not the same. Okay, that is one layer down. Do we see what we're all seeing? Yes, we all know what we're seeing. This is the Studio Radiant side. Ooh, it's so dewy, so beautiful. I love it. I don't care what other people say. I mean, honestly, it comes down to what kind of finish you like. And I think the reason that people got upset with the original one changing to this is that it's easier to make a foundation a little bit glowier. You can add a highlighter, you can add something underneath but it's a little harder when you have a very glowy foundation to sometimes tame it down if that's not what you want. And it also is a little bit less skin-like. Like I feel like this side, which is the Dior, looks very similar to the old MAC face and body where it's coverage, but it just looks like your skin. Um, and you can add a little bit of highlighter if you want more, but it's not like this side, like you've clearly done something to your face and you look beautiful and glowy, but it's just a little bit, there's something different about it, I guess. I think this side by side makes it very obvious which side is which and why people maybe don't like the new radiance. Um, I honestly, I think this side looks better on me. It makes me look younger. This side, it kind of emphasizes texture that I don't really even have. If you do have texture, if you have mature skin, if you have any imperfections, basically at all, the, the natural side can tend to highlight that. But then again, sometimes I hear from people that like the glowy radiant side highlights texture. So it really just depends on what you want. And I think that's why this option is really valuable in having since we had to say goodbye to our original one and now we just are left with the option of the studio radiance. This kind of gives you the option of saying like, okay, I want something that really performed very much like the old MAC face and body. And I would say that this one is going to be kind of your best bet. I don't think it necessarily has all of the qualities. I just love the fact that the MAC face and body really sets on your face. And I don't find that this one, it doesn't not set, but it doesn't have that same magic of the setting as the MAC face and body. So I think it's a great option if you do, like I said, prefer this natural finish. Um, I just wish MAC would come out with the old one. That's all I wish for. <laughs> so the shades actually don't look as bad as I was thinking in this light. Um, I wouldn't wear the half and half out, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wear this Dior all day. I'm gonna do a wear test. I already know what it feels like, but I wanna do like some check-ins so you guys can see if, if you're considering getting it. And I'm not gonna do it side by side just because that looks crazy. So I'm gonna do it tomorrow and I'm gonna do it. It's hot and humid here, so you'll get kind of a full day wear test and I will check in at the end of the day and then wrap up this video. So thanks guys, keep watching. <laughs>
this side I did with hands, this side with a brush. Honestly, I like both the same. I think I would probably use a brush. I get a little bit less coverage because I think the brush soaks up some of it and it's just a little neater in terms of like not getting my hands as messy. Um, it's not like Mac Mason Body where you need the warmth of your hands to set it. So if I have the option where it's gonna look exactly the same, I'm gonna go with like less mess on my hands. But this is the finish of it. I think it looks really good. This is the brush side and I feel like it maybe looks just a little bit dewier. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Um, but I don't think you would be able to tell a difference. So I really like this one right now. I am gonna wear it for the full day. It's what, um, 11.20? So I got a late start, but we're going to wear it for about eight hours. So I'll take it off around seven tonight and I'll let you know what it looks like. <laughs> Hello guys. I'm checking in. It is 411 on the dot. <laughs> Not that that matters. So we're like a little bit over halfway through the day. I wanted to check in in my lighting up here and just show you what it looks like. So I was actually on my way to Sephora because I was like, ah, this shade is just, it's like, it's dark and this is what the middle of august it's about to be fall i mean in the south fall like comes in like three more months but my skin is just going to get lighter and lighter and i was like how often am i going to use this shade but i love the way it looks right now and i think i can make it work and i think it's okay to have like a darker shade in my repertoire <laughs> so that's me saying french very 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 badly sorry <laughs> But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep it and like I said, it's okay to have one darker shade. Basically what I did, I put a little bit of concealer on the T-zone so that it brightened up the center of my face and then I don't need to use any bronzer whatsoever. Um, so this is what it looks like. I'm gonna zoom you in so you can kind of see what it looks like up close. And then of course I'll check in at the end of the day. Wow. Oh yeah. Okay. So my under eyes are the driest part of my body. <laughs> um, so they do look a little dry and I actually, I don't think I put concealer like right under my eyes. I put it more like on my cheeks right here, nose and chin. Um, that, I don't think that's actually the makeup. I think you can see like there it's a little bit lighter. Um, so you can see how dark it is. I don't see anything like so, so bad. We can see some gray hairs, that's fun. <laughs> okay, whoop! <laughs> so, what do you think so far? I think it looks good. I'm gonna finish my day up. Oh, and I also had a mask on. I was in and out of a few places today. So it seems like it's holding up well. And it does feel, it's, it's not like as um, matte. I don't wanna use the word matte, but it doesn't like have that set as the MAC face and body does, but it doesn't, not have it <laughs> that makes sense it's like this kind of in between where i guess it feels more like a normal foundation versus like a tinted moisturizer that just kind of like moves around on your face all day um but i also think it makes me it just like completes my look when i'm tan and it gives me a very very nice radiant glow but not too radiant so it just reminds me of old mac face and body guys hi i don't check in i was going to show you the watch what time it is but this isn't a watch uh it's like 7 30 and i want to wash my face so i'm gonna end this now um it's held up really well let me see if i can get better light for you <laughs> am i standing in the bathtub to get this light yes i am um yeah it's like has not budged at all and I feel like it's a very good dupe, um, and a, a more expensive dupe. But my issue is my eyes do feel quite dry. I guess I did put it there. So in the future, I would probably just avoid that area because it's definitely going to be more drying than like super dewy and moisturizing. Um, but it does remind me so much like Mac or so much of Mac and I think it's a great option for those of you who cannot deal with the Radiance, Studio Radiance version and just kind of want the old MAC face and body back because look, it looks beautiful. Now I'm going to go wash my face. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.